Yo, Lance Stevenson just did something that would piss off a lot of NBA fans. So basically what happened was that the Pacers were off 15 against the Raptors and I let the ball out to Lance Stevenson and he laid it in. So yeah, let's watch this together. Tucker is off, another rebound for Young. Young and Teague. Yo, Lance's jokes, man. Yo, yeah, Corey Jones is just, yo, know, I think Corey Jones is just trying to hit him with the ball, man. Yo, I didn't even know he's had before. Yo, watch Corey Joseph here, man. Yo, I already know if he's trying to aim for him, man. Block. The teammates make sure they come in and get something. Those guys on the floor. And now the fans are turning to Lance. They wanted some edge. They got it. They've talked all year long that that's what th this team has been lacking. There's no question about it. So yeah, a couple days ago, the Warriors and Wizards game had probably had a similar situation to this, but it wasn't as much similar as this, because the Warriors had, I believe they had a, they need they needed to shoot the ball within the shot clock, or they get a turnover. So this is, I guess, this is a little disrespectful. I get it, but honestly, I don't even care. Like that's a stat padding. I do this in 2K. During 2K, I actually do this in league games. I've seen people do this. No one even complains. But the NBA, like you guys get butt hurt over. The fact that someone laid it in, like it's your own fault. You should have been in the game in the first place, or you should have got defend the shot. Like, why are you getting mad over a wide open bucket at the end of the fourth quarter? Like, you you could have defended that. Like, you could have tried to get back and stop, like stop, try to block him at least. Yeah, back to what I said before between the Wizards and Warriors game. Brandon Jennings is an idiot. The Wizards are an idiot. I'll show you this video right now. Let's watch it together. That the Wizards actually shoot the ball when they're, they're up as well. When they're up, they shoot the ball as well. They shoot three-pointers as well when they're up. Look, they're up 21. They shot it. And the Blazers... Like, look at that. Why are you guys getting mad? Like, you guys did the same thing. Like, why are the Wizards even talking shit? Like, especially Brandon Jennings. Brandon Jennings is like the worst guy to do this. Like, this guy's a cock, this guy shows off so much, this guy just dribbles around, like, he fucks around so much. Like, out of everyone in the league, he should be the last guy to say, like, he's getting disrespected. Because I've seen him do some stupid shit as well, because I'm in the beginning of the season, or last season, he was disrespecting a D-League player as well. A guy trying to earn a spot in the league. Yeah, like, in my opinion, I actually think, I have no problem if a guy's trying to score at the last second. Like, I sort of get how it's disrespectful, but whatever, man, like, it's your own, like, you gotta defend the basket, you gotta play, you gotta play 48 minutes, not 47 minutes, 20 seconds, you gotta play all 48 minutes, you guys are making millions of dollars. So yeah, so like I said before, I don't think it's disrespectful for players to actually score in the last second, but actually, if you remember this clip, Jonas Valanciunas and Karam Butler a long time ago, this was disrespectful. I'll show you a clip right now. This was so disrespectful. No one made a big deal out of this. This is so, the most disrespectful play in NBA history, man. This guy high fives and ripped the ball from him. What the fuck? Ah! That's pretty interesting. Yo, no one got mad at this. This you should've been pissed at, man. If I was a Raptors fan, I would've been pissed. Like, this should have been a fight after this. This should have been a fight. Look at this, man. Oh, yeah. High five, high five. Oh, yeah. Good game, good game, good game. Oh, I didn't show him the clip. Yeah, but. Yeah. That was a scum. This was a scum move. And a clear pop foul as well, man. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think about scoring in the last second when you're up 10, 15, 20. Like, personally, like I said before, I don't even care, man. You gotta play all 48 minutes if you're in the NBA making millions.